Uh, for Tara, that is Baja California Sur, Mexico. Last year, you remember this? We talked about her incredible trip. She was doing a road trip. She passed through the small town of Laredo. She spent less than 24 hours there, but it stuck with her. And now she's going to talk a little <laughs> bit about you brought the whole gang back because you loved it so much. And this wasn't really something that you probably were expecting to do, but you just fall in love with something and you got to bring everybody yep. back. Yeah, I was really taken by Loretto. We literally drove through, as you mentioned, not even a day there. Um, I'm pretty fortunate. Every other year, my parents take their four daughters. I'm the oldest of the four, and their family is uh, someplace fun. And in light of everything that's going on, we thought we got to go somewhere secluded. So we went to Villa del Palmar, right just south of Loretto, on Donzante Bay. You mentioned earlier Michelle Obama was in the Bay celebrating her birthday about two years ago on Steven Spielberg's yacht. In fact, I think we saw Steven Spielberg's yacht while we were down there. If I had more time, I would have, you know, maybe taken a dinghy out there to see. Anyway, it might be something to put on your radar. Take a look. So welcome home, Amistara. Um, welcome to Villa del Palmar at the islands of Loreto. A quick tour of the Villa del Palmar as we check in, thanks to Zyra, where the staff greets you with a welcome home. Good morning. Good morning. The all-inclusive opened years ago, resting in a secluded bay that gives you privacy and lots to look at. What makes Loreto and this area so special? First of all, it's all this uh, marine park that we have. Uh, all this, the sea life that is all around, these beautiful beaches that they're quiet most of the time. It's very uh, rare that we have big waves. And all this, um, uh, the season of the whales uh, that starts in, in, in January up to March around, change every year, but uh, all this um, uh, wildlife that exists around, the sightseeing, that's what it makes Loreto very special. And General Manager Eduardo Rojas didn't realize how special until he got here only six or seven months ago. One day I get a phone call and, uh, and they asked me if I was interested to move to Baja. And I was looking forward to, to, to know this area. I'm a, as a Mexican, it's weird, but I've never been in this area. So I came, and the day when I came, I fell in love with the place. It's hard not to fall in love with the place. Like other all-inclusives, you'll find all sorts of activities. There are things for the inner crafter. Jack, how many yeah. bracelets have you made? Nine. Nine bracelets since you've been here. Jack has been here for a long time. Yeah. Come on, girls, you got this. Toby's by himself beating you. Then there's stuff for the outdoorsman or woman or aunt who likes to have her nephew do the heavy lifting. Okay, I've said it before. One of the one of the big perks of waking up so early for so many years is that you always end up making a great sunrise. Well, it's a it's a big space. It's a big space, and what it makes us feel more uh, large where we are because we are lonely. We are alone. We have no neighbors around or whatsoever, so you feel free. Last time to get focused. A few signature restaurants with themed dinners. In fact, major props and bonus points for somehow getting my husband to dance. Dad, have you heard about this golf course? I have heard about it. <laughs> I can't wait to bring my whole gang from Dallas down here. Rojas says thanks to that direct flight from Phoenix, he's seeing more Arizonans. We have a lot of people from Arizona. Yes, we started having more and more. We love these people from there because we have kind of the same weather, so they feel in, 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 their, in their home area as well when they come here, just with the difference yep. that they are in our hands and we can take care of them. Speaking of that, this actually may be one of the nicest spas and gyms I've ever come across. Honestly, I was very impressed. It's more than 3,500 square feet, the spa, and and the gym as well with the beautiful views over the golf course it makes a very uh, inspiring way to to work out and relax at the spa all these uh, activities this is what it makes the people addicted to this area we have uh, guests that they come every year some of them they come two three times a year i love what i do i love my job like i say all the time i live in a beautiful paradise and and when you love your job, the rest goes very easy. Yeah, he was adorable. All right, Kylie, this is what they're also known for, this TPC Donzante Ooh. Bay Golf Course designed by Reese Jones. I know we've got the Waste Management Phoenix Open coming up. I, there's my dad, by the way, who oh. actually lives in Dallas. And it's great. American has direct flights from Dallas. They have direct flights, not every day of the week from Phoenix, but oh, about nice. four of the seven days. It worked out great. And we'll take you on this golf course.
coming up. It is stunning. And one of the coolest golf pros I've ever met in my life, Danny Garcia down there, was so much fun. You'll meet him in just a little bit. And Monica was checking rates, and it sounds like it is pretty affordable depending on when you go, considering the fact yep. that it is all-inclusive, because you can get a lot of bang for your buck there. 100%. And they do have specials. Always keep your eyes. And same with the airlines. It, it'll go from like 127 one way to $800 one way, yeah. depending on what day. It's very strategic if you're a little bit flexible, but also that's, you know, the airlines are hurting. So sometimes they'll do that little price thing where the day earlier, it's much cheaper. Yeah. You just got to be looking. You got to spend some time yep. doing some research. Okay, Tara, thanks so much. We will check in with you a little bit later. Yeah. Or Tara does the research for us. I was also <laughs> looking at drive from San Diego to Laredo. It was only 16 hours.